Hello, aunties. Good morning. Look who's being a silly sausage and lying in the pram this morning. Well, it's not pram, it's a pramette. Uh, my uh, 1990, early 90s, mamas and papas, caraval in fruits, I think it's called, caraval in fruits. And um, yes, little Miss Emma Jane decided that she was going to lie in it. I think she's got her dolly with her somewhere. You got your dolly? Yeah. You got your dolly? Okay. So, well, we were going to go out yesterday, weren't we, Emma Jane? Oh, she's sulking. And then we couldn't go out. So this morning she went and sat in here again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going out today either, Chuck. But I think, I thought I'd show you what I packed. And um, for her, when I was going to take her out yesterday. Um, she is not lying on the liner. So, Auntie Anne, you were worried about the um, blue on the babies. You're absolutely right. And thank you for pointing that out. So, I did get by a liner to put in here. It's a, it's a foot muff and you take the foot bit off. So, it was cream. Nice and fluffy. Just a thin one, just to cover up the blue. Well, little Missy didn't want to lie on that, so I got a big muslin wrap. Got a big muslin wrap. It's got a, it's white with these little cute trees on that I had for my Cassato ages ago. And uh, so she's lying on that, so it's meant to be covering up her, getting her vinyl away from the blue. And also I was going to show you her new sandals. She's got a pretty dress on, hasn't she? Well, eventually when she starts, she's not even listening while well, she's pretending she's not. I will eventually, um, when she's stood up, show you her very, very pretty dress. And her sandals that I got her, excuse me, fit nicely. I'm so glad I got them. They were such a bargain. Wow, I couldn't believe that price. So because... Emma Jane is potty trained. Um, she's a toddler, so she's definitely potty trained. You know, we do have accidents. So you always have to um, make sure you've got a spare outfit. So I brought her on this spare dress. Well, I was going <laughs> to. Um, and then her spare pants. These are like um, baby... No, they're not baby because she's a toddler. don't want to say baby. Someone might not like it. <laughs> these are little girls, special pants. Um, you will have seen me buy these before. Timothy wears these as well. Bambino Mayo. They come in loads of different cute little patterns. And um, they've got like a, like a quite a thick lining inside, like a terry towel absorbent lining so you can just change them and put them in the wash aren't they cute got chickens on the front and what else we bought a cup she hasn't got any socks on so I brought some socks um, a bib because I'll buy food out for her I'd buy food out my mask wet wipes and that is what is in there and then I've got a new, new little tripod for my phone so hopefully I won't have to hold it so much and be so joggy so shaky and then I did pack a little bag do I show you what's in there let me just undo it So Emma Jane packed a little teddy, a book. She's really into Joseph's coat of many colours <laughs> at the moment. So that's gone in there. She's also got a jelly cat in here. Look at this one, Auntie D. It's an asparagus. <laughs> we sent um, Deirdre a little bunny rabbit because she's she's never seen a jelly cat. And they are absolutely, they're so soft, you just can't explain the softness. So Emma Jane put in asparagus. Oh, and that little character that I bought. 
the other day, that little Fisher Price character. I think I'm going to get try and find some bigger Fisher Price toys that they can use them in. What else we got? Sunglasses. And in case she gets tired later on, on the way home, I was I would have made her a bottle. Because she's still a toddler. She likes to have a bottle sometimes. And that's okay. We all like to do certain things sometimes, don't we? There, and that went under there. And I'll tell you what, this basket is no good for shopping compared to my eye candy. <laughs> it's quite tiny compared to my eye candy. And also, the push is not as smooth as the eye candy. <coughs> Excuse my feet. The push is not as smooth as the eye candy either. But then again, you think about it, it's what, 27 years old? 26 years old. 26, 27, 28 years old. God, my daughter's 28. <laughs> 28 years old. So I just thought I'd show you that today. Um, because I got a treat for Emma Jane. I bet she'll get up now. Yesterday was Tuesday. And um, on Tuesdays, I always have um, Fat Club and counselling meetings and they were on zoom they've been on zoom like for the last mostly the last year whether we had a little bit of a lockdown break where we could go back into the appointments so um depending on how i feel after my counseling um depends on what i'm going to do <clears throat> and i have plans like every tuesday i'm like right, after counseling if I feel okay, I'm going to go to so-and-so. I'm going to do so-and-so. I'm going to do so-and-so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got hay fever in my throat. Because I've been cutting the grass here. All the farmers have <clears throat> been cutting the grass. It's absolutely lush. Anyway. Yeah, so on Tuesdays, I... Um, God, I better have a drink. Oh, a frog in my throat. Still using my mug. Save our bees. If you've watched my last Coffee in a Chat, please do. And comment. And if you can't comment on there, send me a message through Instagram or through Facebook that you can't comment. Because I do have two people that watched the video but can't comment. Um, because there was a giveaway in that video. Um, and so I will do the Coffee in a Chat for that one next Wednesday. I'm not sure. Today is Wednesday. But next Wednesday, I will do the coffee and the chat chat on the way. I'm going to see Sheena. Ah, can't wait. So I will do a coffee and a chat when I do my halfway stop to Sheena's, which I've done before. And um, and then we'll draw the winner in there. But it will be up. So that'll be next Wednesday. Hopefully I'll get it up either Wednesday night or Thursday at Sheena's. When I'm actually at Sheena's, I'll be able to upload that video. So look out for that. You can comment on that right up until that video, I guess. Because I shall do that video on the way up to Sheena's and it means I have to go back and look at the, uh, go and look at that original video and the comment section and put everybody's name from the comment section into a hat and we'll pull it out um, when we're at the halfway point next Wednesday. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head, but I'm not sure I'm explaining it right. Anyway, I just that one even meant to be in the video, but I just wanted to add that little saying there. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait. So anyway, yeah, on Tuesdays, <clears throat> I always have plans. I'm going to do something. <laughs> Best laid plans and all that. I still haven't got to Ikea, and I'm going to give Ikea a miss unless Grumpy can drive me down there. I don't think, to me... I don't think my, my, my brain feels that's important at the moment. Otherwise, I'd be down there looking. Um, and right near is Smith's Toys, which is where I wanted to take Emma Jane, which is where this is about to lead up to. <laughs> so I thought yesterday, Russ said to me on the weekend, now the garden, you know, my garden room is nearly done. So cottage. So we need to come up with some names for the cottage as well. Um, now it's almost done. Why don't you go down to Ikea then and see what you want, see, you know, have a look at the room display, see what you want, see what you fancy. And I was just like, yeah, I'll do that on Tuesday. I'll do that on Tuesday. <laughs> Yesterday I came out of counselling, sat down on the chair and I was just like, nah, I don't want to drive all the way down there now. 
I just going to go grocery shopping because <clears throat> that's usually my Tuesday thing is to go grocery shopping. Like if you watch me during a pandemic, I would go out just once a day, once, once a day, once a week and do all of my shopping and whatever I had to do in one day. So I was like, I'm just going to go shopping. I'm not going to go do anything else, go anywhere else. I'm just going to do the shopping. And so I went to Asda. So Asda used to belong to Walmart. So if you've got Walmart in America and in Canada, Asda used to belong to them. And it was the, you know, it it was rebranded as Asda over here. The massive big stores were called Walmart Asda or Asda Walmart, something like that. But um, then Walmart um, sold them because Walmart is really struggling, isn't it, in America because of the pandemic and um, even before that because of Amazon. So um, they sold off Asda in the UK. And um, so now it's just called Asda. But know that it was part of the Walmart brand. So some of the stores are massive. Um. And so I went there and it's, I haven't been there for ages because it's on a road that it's like not easy to get to for me. It's like you double back on yourself, um, like to go there and then whichever way you want to come back out of there, you double up on yourself. And so I very rarely go to that one, um, in Taunton and, um, but this time, um, I was like, I had to, something to drop off as well. So I thought, oh, I'll go to Asda. Let's just go to Asda. And um, that's what I did. And I saw something for Emma Jane. She's going to be excited. She's going to get out that buggy in a minute. You're going to get out that buggy in a minute, Emma Jane. When you see what mommy's got for you. She still hasn't got out of the push chair. She is right sulking. And I don't blame her. She thought she was getting this yesterday. I don't blame her. But look, I found it in Asda. That's me. I think I used yesterday and it's going to bin now. Um, yeah, I saw this one. She is going to love it. Were you with me when I was trying to look for one in Argos in the previous video? I think it was, I went to, I, I think in the thumbnail I did four shops and I forgot, completely forgot to put Argos in there. Um, and I went into Argos looking for one, and the one I saw was £18. And I was like, oh, I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure. Because so I wanted to go at the bottom of her bed, really. And this was seven. Seven pounds. It says, try me, rock the cradle, and the music plays. I don't think it does. Think oh, yes, it does. Lullabies, rocking crib, converts to a bed. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, look, like you can take them off, the rockers, and you can put them up there to make the little bed. And they had some My Sweet Baby. This was a range. Oh, can you not turn it off? <laughs> um, yeah, this, they had this. My sweet baby, um, lots of stuff for that. The dollies were lovely that went with that. I know a little girl who's going to want to see more of the dollies that they have down there, that's for sure. So I think you take all this off. It's underneath, look. She's still not come. Oh, when you rock it. Oh, I see. So when you rock it, the music plays. It's got to have, yeah, it's got back, needs batteries. It says they're included. Isn't it cute? Look, it comes with a rattle and a bottle and a little pillow in a little cover. Oh my God, she's going to love that. Can you imagine Christmas this year with Emma Jane and her absolute love of dollies? <laughs> and then I got one of these for me and Frankie. Mini brands. Because me and Frankie like the mini brands. And um, this is a new series. So we're going to open that. I'll open up with Frankie later. And um, at some point, at the moment, Frankie's really into bees. I bought her a new bee book and she absolutely loves her bee book. I was sort of picture here that I took off her reading her bee book yesterday. Look 
her face. This one's just like her mother. You can tell what mood she's in by the look on her face. <laughs> Kids, hmm? girls. Look, look what we got you. It says my sweet baby and it's a cradle and it rocks. Don't worry, aunties, I did rub, wash, wipe it off and it was yesterday I bought it. So, what you, yeah, I'm here. You okay? Are you okay? I'm here. It's raining outside. I've been down painted. I've only got one little bit left to paint of the garden room. Okay, it's okay. You're hungry now. Are you hungry? Yeah, right. Um, just feed Millie. Just feed Millie. Okay, that's Millie fed. <laughs> Breakfast. Go and lie down. Go and lie down. Go on. Go on your blanket. It's too wet to go out now. It would be nice to go down and paint the rest away. You can take your baby out because mum's got to untake this bottom bit. Mum's got to cut it off. Untake. Mum's got to cut the bottom bit off. Yeah, you got it. Okay. No, you want to see, do you? Okay, just be careful because you stood on the chair as usual. You and Timothy are little monkeys, aren't you, for standing on the chair? Yeah, that's what monkeys do. You jump all over the place. It's like you and Timothy both do that. Sorry, the light is going in and out. I shouldn't be filming. I know a pro would not film with um, the window behind. But I'm not a pro, I'm just Caroline. Oh, it's hard to get out, Emma. Just what are you looking at? Gosh, I think mummy's scissors are good enough for this. They haven't used um, tight cable ties, they've used like. It's like um, thick, thick, wiry stuff, wooden stuff. There's the bot bot. And you like bot bots, don't you? Okay. Look at that! It's a rattle! Wow, look at that! You want to hold that one now, do you? Okay, okay. Hold that one ready for your baby. Careful you don't fall. You're looking in there. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, it's tied. The, bo <coughs> the little dolly thing at the bottom is tied on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the My Sweet Baby line of baby dolls and accessories was created to support loving and caring play patterns. It encourages nurturing behaviour and creative growth amongst children. Definitely does the... Teaches them all about nurturing. I love watching them play. I love watching little kids play and how they, how they imitate the grown-ups. Oh, crikey. Sorry about that, aunties. You really saw me take my eye out. Or Emma Jane's arm. Really there, Emma Jane. I have got to open this. And then it's... Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a mechanism up there. And I... Discard to try me, and I think this is one that. So, this is the device here. This is a connector. It's copper, isn't it? And then it goes up to here, and you just have to unclip this. Because that was the try. So, that was the one that you used the try me advice, first of all. So, if you see if I pull this down, 
it's got none on it and then you've just got an on off button and i've seen that before maybe it's in all kids toys and i just haven't seen it out in the recycling. And the recycling men go. Recycling today. And then to hold the little baby, I showed the little baby um, um, mattress. <laughs> it's got little ties on it. Oh, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. Gosh. I have enough followers for that. I'm just showing you in case you might like to do it. And the pillow, you can take that, you can undo the things for the pillow if you want the pillow to be removable. But I think I'm going to keep that on there for you, Emma Jane. Yay! And then so you can rock your baby. When you don't want to rock it, you just take these bits off. And make it into a bed. Oh, here it goes, aunties. Mummy's rubbish at doing this. Isn't she? Hey. Oh no. See, it doesn't look like it fits on there like that. Oh, I think we need grumpy to show us. <laughs> Sweet love. <laughs> I think you've got a rubbish mum, haven't you, sometimes? They're square so they don't fit on the can you see the square? So they don't like push on that. I thought they would just push on that. So I look at the picture. If anything, any else fails, just oh my dear, it does have probably has distractions. It has distractions for mummy. <laughs> oh no, you just take it off, you just discard that. You just don't have it. I thought it went at the top there. But it doesn't, you just don't have it. Cut these off. So I can then put that out for recycling. Cut the ties off. Okay. I'll put that back on. You want it rocking, do you, Mrs? Good. Good. I, I would have thought they would have gone up there because it makes it like less e less for you to lose. Like you can lose these two bits in amongst all of the hundreds of kids' toys that are always lying around. Should we put it on so you can play with it? Are you happy with mummy now? Mummy did get you one. She said she would get you one. You've got one, haven't you, now? You've got one of your own cops. Yeah, I know. She wants a cop toy. Your baby's happy now. Look, she's got her own rattle. Woo-hoo. Well, we have one happy Emma Jane playing with her babies. Yay! <laughs> Fancy liking your babies as well, like mummy. Oh, that's it now, Emma Jane. We're going to get all the things. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can I say bye, Emma Jane? No, bye -bye.